Howdy from Texas. <laughs> Actually, howdy from Fort Worth. Yeah. Um, We're at Lowtown yeah. Studios today. Woohoo! Place it's, is amazing. It is amazing. They have like everything yeah. you can imagine. This is awesome. I'm so glad to be We've here. Got all the sound stages. Right now we're in the client viewing area and it makes for a yeah. perfect set. This place, like everything is perfect. <laughs> it's all yeah. set up properly. So if you're in Fort Worth, it. you should check it check out. Check it out, Lowtown Studios. <laughs> well, let's talk about a secret, hmm. posing. Yes. You have a really unique way of doing it. <laughs> and it's funny because when we shot my kid, um, we shot at the exact same time, same equipment, same lighting. <laughs> and somehow all of your shots were great and most of mine were terrible. And I'm like, what happened? It, it was weird, but... Your shots you, were not terrible. I, I, don't, I didn't use any of them. <laughs> I used all yours. But uh, the secret to posing. Um, is, so this is funny. Most photographers are very set on posing and doing these, you know, posing the model and... For me, my secret to posing is don't pose. <laughs> don't pose the model. <laughs> don't pose the model. Um, the reason is, is I feel like when you adjust their hands or tell them to pose a certain way, it just looks stiff. It looks like this person has been fo posed for a photograph, <laughs> which I like to capture those moments where it looks like they're just in their element. They're not posed at all. So there is um, basically two techniques that I use to do this. And, you know, Eric sees this firsthand. I mean, ultimately, you don't want to pose. So instead, I tend to use a kind of technique that I call shooting through moments. And so basically, the steps to shoot through moments and capture that natural pose is to basically come up with some ideas of how you think you want the model to be posed and then find examples of those um, on Google image search or in magazines and show them, show the model or whoever it is you're shooting those poses to, so they can kind of get an idea of the style and the look that you're going for. And then ultimately you let them run with it. Um, especially if you're working with real models who kind of know how to pose their body and stuff like that. When you go to pose them, it almost really stifles their creativity. Right. So you honestly don't want to pose, especially when you're working with real models and stuff like that. So the way that you shoot through moments is you might burn some digital files in order to get the exact shot that you're looking for. So all my clients, I mean, I will overshoot each setup just to get those really super natural looks for every shot so that they're not looking super posy. So I may start out having a model just in a position, maybe turned her body towards camera, and I'm just gonna kind of tell her to do little slight movements here and there, and then I'm gonna shoot through the moments in order to get, I might burn 100 frames in order to get that exact shot that I'm looking for, but it's really strategic because people, the longer you shoot them, they let their guard down a little bit. And so I always say, sometimes if the model is super great, she'll nail it on the first shot, and right. then other times you wear them out and then their real personality comes out and that's when you get the shot. <laughs> <Right. laughs> so it's kind, of a, it's kind of a give and take. I feel like it's almost mm. like a dance. So we, I might start them out in a, in a pose or a position and I'm also looking at their body shape as I'm shooting. So for instance, the things that I'm looking for are triangles, like creating triangles with their body, um, creating S curves with their body, um, and also turning away from camera is really important. I mean, if you look at like the Sports Illustrated catalog, you'll see that they're making a lot of S curves and a lot of triangles with their body. And then obviously, you know, when shooting headshots, I always shoot from a higher angle. Um, and really, that's really basically how I work because I'm really focusing on that personality and just getting in that zone. And you've seen me shoot. It's kind of like I'm hard to, I'm so present with the model and creating and kind of just asking her to do little small adjustments. And we'll show you guys an example of how you can kind of do this in your work. But, oh, one thing. I don't mean to just take Look, over this going. whole video. <laughs> I'm happy I, mean, I, haven't, to... I haven't let Eric say a word. No, no I'm happy to listen. Um, <laughs> so when we do the lighting video, he'll be the main one talking. So it's all good. But anyways, um, I basically, when I go to shoot any kind of model, I always like to have their favorite music playing. That's a really big part of it. So I would always say shoot through moments, have music playing, have examples of the different kind of poses that you're looking for. And then when you're on set, just let the model run with it. And that's really the main key, I would say, in posing. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, boss. Cool.
Rock and roll. One thing to add um, yeah. for selfies. Mm -hmm. uh, when you <laughs> shoot a selfie, get that camera as far away as you can from your face. The closer you get it, the more distorted your face is going to be. Such a good point. Cell phone cameras have wide angle lenses. Mm -hmm. And the closer you are, it's going to start distorting your ears and your nose and everything. It's going to make whatever's closest to the middle of the lens bigger and everything else smaller or it makes a really weird distortion. So instead of taking a selfie up close, take it as far away as possible. Mm -hmm. So and, long arms are great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or have, if, if it's possible, have someone else take it, but yeah. start as far away as possible first. That's a really good so, tip. I should have added right. that. Well, and then I have go. one more thing to add. So a lot of you are probably working with non-professional models, especially if you're shooting portraits and weddings and things like that. So a few ways that you can work with these type of folks is to give them an action. So for instance, um, say I'm taking like a yoga ad or a running you know, ad or something like that, or like a kind of a workout type picture. Um, give them an action, like have them start out in a running pose and then actually run. Um, you might have them, I always have the models walk back and forth towards camera or at least take two steps. And I always tell them, all right, or if you're like talking to a wedding party or something like that, walking and talking, like doing that a bunch of times, you can get really some natural type of looks. And then if, you know, you could also give them a prop. Props. Yes, I, I love feel that like trick. it's like a security I blanket. love that trick. Exactly, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. beginner models, usually what happens is they haven't done it in for a while, but all of a sudden they get in front of the camera mm -hmm. and there's a crew of three or four people or possibly more, yeah. and then everyone's staring at them and they're like, oh, okay, what's going on? Yes. Give them a prop. It, as simple as anything that could distract them for a little bit and then take the prop away, So, you, but you're photographing them throughout when they have, when you give them the prop, yeah. then slowly take it away, then they can get kind of their natural poses out, right? Or not even poses, oh, but like absolutely. natural, just kind of um, you know, I, move it out. Because I, I hate being photographed. Yeah. <laughs> I usually have my mom take my headshots because I'm just, I hate being in front of the camera. So my prop is my hat. And so you can give props, like they can be wardrobe props, they can be sports props, you know, whatever works for the style picture that you're going for. And then one other tip, in posing models or non-models is also to give them feedback. The worst thing that you can do <laughs> as a photographer is to sit there and try to just be shooting and shooting and shooting and not saying a word. And the reason is that the model's like, uh, am I doing anything right? Like people need feedback to feel good about themselves. So you want to be showering them with compliments as you shoot saying, Hey, this looks great. This looks amazing. Like keep it super positive as you're posing them and you're going to get really amazing like expressions out of the talent that you shoot. So that's a really important thing. Yeah. So when I'm shooting like every three shots, I'll say beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. I might be repeating myself a lot, but that feedback really helps the model out quite a lot. So that makes a really big difference. Absolutely. I think. And, and then I, I thought of one, go ahead. No, uh, anything that happens on set, I always talk to Dixie direct real quietly. I never yell, you know, um, <laughs> like there's a bug in the frame. I'm like wasp or bee. Or her like, hair looks terrible. Yeah. Or something. I'll, yeah. I'll ask Dixie, Hey boss, there's a bunch of bees around her head. I'm going to, let's go ahead and pause for a sec. <laughs> just keep shooting. And then we'll just, yes. we'll let that bee get, I'll get that bee out of there. Then we'll keep shooting. Yeah. So I um, think that's a big part of it. Hair fan distraction. Oh gosh. We have to talk about the hair fan. Yeah. Cause that's, that's a so great important. distraction. Yeah. yeah. So on set, actually you can talk about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Makita. We use the hair fan. Uh, we do the Makita or Ryobi and basically it's... Which is actually, I'm sorry, a battery operated leaf blower. Right. <laughs> so it's not a hair fan per se. Right. It's just a leaf, a battery operated leaf blower that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah. And it's not the plug-in kind. Those it's, are too powerful. It's the small one. <laughs> um, and you can find it for pretty inexpensive. Yeah. But we use them as small puffs of air mm -hmm. to move the model's hair. Just to, to open up her face effect. a little bit sometimes. We don't want it to be like a hurricane. We just go boom, 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 boom. And it just barely yeah. opens it up. And a lot of times they'll pay attention to that. And then they'll just get into a, you know, kind of a funner mood. They usually laugh and have a yeah. good time with it. And, and they feel more glamorous. Yeah. When you have a hair fan, it just, it just creates this whole experience. It I think, almost always bit. looks way better. It does. Like 99%, it mm -hmm. always looks way better than if it's just yeah. without. It gives a little bit of movement to the photo, mm -hmm. I think. That's a really, I love that. Right. I can't believe I forgot so, to talk about that one. Yeah. And then the last thing, when I say shoot through moments, um, when the model here is the click of that camera, I feel like it's instant feedback. So for instance, I mean, a lot of photographers will really wait until that decisive moment, which you had to do with film photography. 
But with digital, you can burn those in digital yeah, files. Yeah, film is cheap here now. And so for me, I like the model. He likes to hear that click because they kind of get in their zone and they feel like they're doing a good job. So that, in addition to you talking to them and speaking to them and giving them good feedback, in addition to the, the shutter clicking, gets them in their zone so you can really capture those natural moments. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that basically sums up don't pose. So we, we should do yeah. a recap. <laughs> I need to start writing this stuff down. I know, right? right. So basically, when you go in to, to pose your model, don't pose. <laughs> so basically, print out ideas of posing poses that you like. Show that to your talent. And then the second is shoot through moments. Mm -hmm. And then hair fan. Hair fan. Definitely yep. to or prop. some movement. Yep. And was that it? Like, yeah. Like, I've used bubbles before. I mean, as a, <laughs> give as a, them a prop. Yeah, give them a prop. Definitely give them a prop. That's a big yep. or thing. Or walk them, you know, have them mm -hmm. take give a few steps. Walk. Yeah, give them an action. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, oh, I have to add one last thing. Okay, go. Try to get to know the model a little bit before the shoot. Get to know their right. favorite um, music, music, their food, have their food on set. Yep. Um, that creates this kind of moment where they feel more at ease when they're on set. And I think that basically sums it up. Absolutely. <laughs> Rock cool. and roll. I'll see you guys right. in the next film. Take care.